Hey, it's Amy from Go With Less. I'm really glad that you're here. You may notice that a certain someone is missing from my side, and that's Tim. Tim is off doing laundry. Well, why am I not doing laundry with Tim? Why isn't Tim on his video? And that is the subject of the video. It's because I broke my foot close to a week ago. We are here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, with a fairly large group of Go With Less friends, and we were making our way to one of the attractions. My uh, face and nose were in my phone, Google Maps, trying to get around, and I caught the edge of a very loose sidewalk paver, rolled my ankle, went down hard. I I uh, kind of cracked my knee uh, with a big bloody mess. Uh, and when I say cracked, it was scraped, I should say, with but a big bloody knee mess. And everyone thought that that was what the problem was, but I knew right away that I broke my foot and that that was gonna be the bigger problem. So we kind of hobble me over to a Grab, which is their version of Uber, and it's very affordable. So we get a Grab right home because there's no way I'm walking because I know that it's I, I'm in very, very bad pain. Thankfully, before we get in that grab, one of our Go With Less people with me is a retired nurse, and he was so helpful with what to do with elevating and icing and medication, my Tylenol and my ibuprofen with the dosing and the timing and all of that. So I was uh, felt like I was in good hands with that advice, and so I went home to go to bed, and when I woke up, like I couldn't walk one single step on that foot. So off we went to the ER. Now what was really nice because there's all these go with less people here and because Kuala Lumpur is such a great place for um, medical tourism a lot of people in our group at least four couples have done this really comprehensive physical that they really uh, kind of came here to do and they do a head-to-toe physical so they've all done this at the Prince Court Hospital uh, so I was really comfortable with the idea of it because so many of our friends had really rave reviews of it so but they weren't going for ER reasons and that might be a little different so anyway we catch a grab over to Prince Court. We get out and we don't know the right entrance, so we get out at the wrong entrance. And one of the they gave me in a wheelchair, and the concierge kind of walks us directly to the entrance of the ER, just right to get uh, to a human being to check me in. So really amazing service that gave some idea of what was to come for the rest of my experience, which was just extraordinary. So we get me all checked in. Um, as soon as I'm checked in, maybe five minutes passes and I'm taken into the nurse stand station where they do your blood pressure, your temperature, uh, uh, your pulse, things like you would have in an American kind of an ER. And then I'm brought back out. A few minutes later, I'm brought into a room with an ER doctor who had, everyone that I had uh, communicated with had good English. He had excellent, excellent English. He was washing his hands when I met him. And, uh, and so he felt around my foot. He said, I'm gonna wanna do a couple of x-rays. Um, and so here's kind of the area where you're having problems. And he also looked at my wound a little and said, we need to clean that up, that, that, like that doesn't look so good. I said, I put some Neosporin on it. Uh, he said, yeah, that's, that's not really the best actually. So we're gonna take better care of that knee so it doesn't get infected. So off we go to radiology where I had a few x-rays. And, uh, and then as soon as we're done with that, I'm wheeled over to like a regular hospital room where they they, the nurse takes care of my wound with a, a nice saline salt solution to clean it. She put on a really good antibiotic ointment and covered it in these really fantastic bandages that were waterproof. The doctor comes in with my x-ray says, you do have a little break, here it is. You're not gonna need any surgery, but it is gonna be bothering you for about six weeks. You're gonna need a walking boot and I'm going to send you to our uh, physio, I, like a physical therapy group, I guess, um, or like physical rehabilitation or something for the walking boot. They'll get you all hooked up. Now he said, you're not gonna wanna buy the walking boot here because it's actually quite expensive. And that was actually told to me by three different people in the hospital, like go somewhere else to buy this boot, but at least get fitted so you know what you want. So he also said, I'm going to want you to see an orthopedic specialist on the other side, uh, maybe in a week, so that you can get some idea of, like, we can just see how it's healing. Now, I've broken bones in my feet before. No one's ever done a follow-up ever in the United States. So I was actually really appreciative to have that uh, opportunity to go see someone and see how it's doing. So, uh, so okay, so off we get our wheels over to, and, and I should say that the nurse was giving me a whole bag of supplies to be able to dress my wound at home. And she said, I'm gonna give you five of these bandages, but they're kind of expensive. So again, you wanna get those somewhere else as well. So 
I'm waiting to pay. And I said, oh, I never got that follow-up doctor appointment. I, I don't know how I'm going to even figure that out. And sure enough, someone comes over, hands me a card that says, here's your uh, appointment for next week with the uh, orthopedic surgeon. And uh, and here's exactly where you go. They gave me good directions in the same building, uh, different floor. And, uh, and so I'll set up for that. So here we are. We're waiting to pay. And I asked him, what do you think this is going to cost? Uh, in the United States, we know that it would cost minimum of two thousand dollars and uh and he said i think it's going to be about four hundred dollars lo and behold the price actually why don't you put down before i even say what it is what do you think the price was down below now this is a private hospital and it's a private hospital for kind of hot, like the, the more wealthy expats here so this is not like a, a public hospital it is a high-end place um so what do you think what do you think it costs i want the comments $115. And the big surprise is what was the most expensive on the whole detailed breakdown list. And that was the five, that was the five bandages. <laughs> so I had two x-rays. That wasn't the most expensive part. It was the five bandages. And I think that cost like 20 to $25 was my five bandages. So, uh, so the nurse was absolutely right about that. Um, but even so I couldn't have been more thrilled about that. Now that did not include my walking boots. So we head on over to the uh, physical rehabilitation group. And unfortunately the walking boot because it was a break in my foot. I didn't need a big boot up to my knee. It's very, very hot here. So it kind of came just mid-calf. Uh, they only had it in X small and large, and my foot would require a, a medium. Well, the physical therapist uh, took it upon himself to try to track one down for me. He wasn't successful, and they did find one to the knee. So I think that's gonna be really overkill and really, really hot. It's like 90 degrees with very high humidity here. Um, I think that's gonna really be extremely uncomfortable. So Tim was able just to go on Google and he found it at a one of the malls has a medical supply store he was able to call make sure that they had my size the uh, hospital said it's gonna be a really expensive grab to get over there it's like 30 minutes away and I said I gotta do what I gotta do I can't walk without this thing so we went over it was eight dollars in the grab uh, got me hooked up immediately the boot itself was about hundred and fifty dollars so a little pricier but I felt that that was a really good deal I got the same exact walking cast that my friend in the United States with the same break stellar health insurance same cast that she had um, so I felt good about about that and I've just been kind of laying low ever since so we were able to get back to the hotel uh, thankfully these grabs are very cheap so we went out only one time from the hotel since that's happened and it's been about I think I saw five days ago um, so since since I got home from the hospital um, I'm kind of just keeping it elevated as uh, it feels uncomfortable I'm really being low key, but so I'm, I'm doing the best that I can to really baby it uh, beforehand with a little bit of a little bit of walking around, but not not too much, and always always in the boot. So we're here for I don't know. We're here for like another. We're here for two weeks from today, and then we're off to Bali, where we're at the beach. I will be in Bali for three weeks, so uh, having this boot on the beach won't be so pleasant. But uh, as nomads, we have learned that we need to be very flexible and adaptable, and I'm sure that we will make it work, whatever it is. But I did want to give this experience that we had in the ER. It is so much better than I've had in the United States. I know many people including myself, who have delayed a trip to the ER or haven't gone because they know that they're gonna be there while they're feeling so sick or, or unwell, uh, maybe for, for hours and hours and hours. For I mean, I've been in the ER for, for eight hours. They forgot about me one time. I, after three hours, I said, what, like, what, like what, what's going on? They're like, oh, you're still here? Like, yes, I'm still here. I haven't been treated. So, um, and we would have expected that to be roughly $2,000 what I had. So everything, uh, all the signage was in English. I'll also say that while the uh, physical therapist was looking for my boot uh, we hadn't had anything to eat all day it was kind of afternoon they had this great cafeteria at Prince Court and so we had this delicious food I had this great uh, tandoori chicken a uh, big big Indian food with one of the best naans uh, I've ever had and uh, that was about maybe six or seven US dollars for a huge meal so uh, so that was really just just the whole experience was great and after the whole thing we went out to get another grab back to our hotel and it felt like we were in like the entrance of a a luxury hotel like a five-star hotel with a big fountain feature just really really nice the whole entire experience so for those who are very concerned when they're traveling about what healthcare is like abroad I just wanted to give you my experience because it was really dynamite so uh, we'll be back soon with our recap of all of our 2022 spending and uh, fun facts about our year so we'll see you soon hasta luego